Caspar David Friedrich's The Evening depicts a serene forest scene with two figures dressed in traditional German clothing, gazing at a beautiful sunset, showcasing the Romantic era's fascination with nature and emotion. This painting is a depiction of the famous scene from Jonathan Swift's novel, Gulliver's Travels. It shows Gulliver taking his final leave of the Huinams, a race of intelligent horses who live in a utopian land. Rain, Steam, and Speed by J.M.W. Turner is a mesmerizing painting that depicts a steam train crossing over a bridge in a storm. It is known for its dynamic composition, use of light and color, and for being one of the earliest depictions of the Industrial Revolution in art. Jerome's The Duel After the Masquerade depicts a fatal duel in wintry Paris dawn. Pierrot dies in Duke de Guise's arms while Domino mourns, and the victorious American Indian leaves with Harlequin. Richard Diebenkorn painted a cityscape of Berkeley with low buildings on one side and empty lots on the other. The palette is cool with green, blue, gray, and white hues, with a small red area on the left. He omitted buildings on the right to create a flatter geometric composition. Rubens created an energetic oil painting of King Henry IV of France entering Paris, after the Battle of Ivry. The painting was part of a series intended for Marie de Medici's Palais de Luxembourg, but only a few were finished before her banishment from France. Ilya Repin's painting captures a powerful moment in Russian history, depicting Ivan the Terrible's grief-stricken reaction to the death of his son, the painting is notable for its emotive realism and fine detail, with the strong brushstrokes expressing both the tension of the moment and the sadness of the father-son tragedy. Hokusai's use of bright tones and brilliant light effects differs from the soft coloration of the Aizuri print. He also employs a Suyari Gasumi cloud form as a framing device to emphasize the mountain. Max Beckman's Hell of Birds, 1938, is a haunting and surrealistic painting that depicts a chaotic and nightmarish scene of birds attacking humans. The painting is a commentary on the rise of fascism in Europe and the artist's own sense of alienation and despair. The Lovers is a painting by René Magritte, depicting two people with their faces obscured by cloth embracing each other. The painting is an example of surrealism, emphasizing the mystery of love and the longing for intimacy. De Kooning created this black and white abstraction using oil and enamel sign paint. The forms seem to approximate letters or human forms, delivering a complex and rich handling of paint. This painting captures a scene of joy and celebration at the Moulin de la Galette in Paris. It is a classic work of Impressionism, featuring bright light colors and loose brush strokes. The painting also captures the lively atmosphere of the time. This painting by Jean-Francois Millet is an example of his realist style. The Sheepfold Moonlight depicts a scene of rural life with a small group of sheep huddled together in the moonlight. Millet captures the beauty of the night sky and the peacefulness of the countryside. Jackson Pollock's early work, Blue Moby Dick from 1943, showcases clear imagery and symbols unlike his later drip technique. 
The all-over style painting has dominant blue color, and the shapes in black, yellow, orange, and white are carefully placed. This painting by Jacob van Roosdale depicts a windmill in WIJK Bij Doerstede, Netherlands. It is a classic example of Dutch landscape painting, with its realistic details and use of light and shadow. The painting also demonstrates Roosdale's masterful ability to capture the atmosphere of the Dutch countryside. Van Gogh lived with his parents in Nuenen from 1883 to 1885 to study drawing, during which he made many drawings of the Parsonage Garden. One of his early masterpieces, a large-scale landscape, depicts gnarled trees dominating a barren landscape with dramatic power. The sculpture Leo Kuhn and His Sons depicts a dramatic scene from Greek mythology. The three figures, writhing in agony, are struggling against the serpent sent by the gods. The sculpture is considered a masterpiece of Hellenistic art and has influenced many artists throughout history. Honoré Daumier's painting, The Third Class Wagon, is a social commentary on the stark contrast between the rich and the poor in Paris during the mid-1800s. The painting shows a crowded wagon of the lower classes, packed together in a desperate search for a better life. Abram Arkhipov's The Washerwoman, 1901, is a poignant portrayal of a working-class woman engaged in the drudgery of laundry. The use of light and shadow creates a sense of depth and realism, while the woman's tired expression invites empathy from the viewer. This painting by Ilya Repin depicts a religious procession taking place in Kursk province, Russia, in 1883. It captures a traditional Russian Orthodox ceremony, with hundreds of people and a variety of colorful costumes, banners, and icons. It is a vivid example of Repin's mastery of realism and his ability to capture a moment in time. This painting by Salvador Dali is a surrealist masterpiece. It depicts a figure representing philosophy, illuminated by the light of the moon and the setting sun, symbolizing the duality of knowledge and enlightenment. Klimt's Frieze portrays the human desire for happiness in a tempestuous world, with paradoxical themes of ugliness in beauty and death in love. The journey begins with genii and follows typhius, gorgons, death, and syphilitic disease. The concepts of lust, voluptuousness, and intemperance are also depicted. This painting depicts the story of Alexander the Great's meeting with his physician, Philip of Arcarnania. It captures a moment of repose, with Alexander's thoughtful and pensive expression and the physician's gentle demeanor. The painting is a masterful example of the academic style of the 19th century. Duran, storied mountains and dense forests, Cantor 975, is a beautiful painting from the Heian period in Japan. It captures a scenic landscape of mountains and forests with a hint of mystery and spirituality. It is a classic example of early Japanese ink painting. The Pink Cloud Antibes, 1916, is a painting by Paul Sinak that uses pointillism to show the bright and vibrant colors of the Mediterranean Sea and its landscape. The painting captures the beauty of the Antibes coastline in a unique and captivating way.